Hi everyone, it is April 14, 2019. I was left this link below one of my videos. Trainee truther, never lose truth, Kafka Winston World exposed. Wow, apparently I am a trainee. I'm a trainee truther. This comes from World Coming Down 5779. Uh, gatekeeper Tranny truthers run rampant on here. Transpocalypse. This person also bashes Christians on a regular basis. Oh my God, I'm so tired of people lying. Or is it that they don't hear, hear what people say because of the filters in their own mind? All right. I don't bash Christians. It's the hypocrites, the people who pretend to be Christians, like world coming down, 5779. Yeah, Jesus is coming, and boy, is he pissed. Well, he's going to be really pissed at you. This is your contribution? Post-tribulation rapture, no need, white, white artisan bread, and then a hit piece on me fabulous contribution to making the world a better place. All right. I apparently am a trainee and I've gone 60 years and I didn't know and nor did any of my friends know nor did my family know nor did any of those that I was in an intimate relationship with know. But world coming down, you know. You know because you did an investigation and wow, what an investigation it is. Uh, and he puts it to crazy talk. Yes, he said in a comment that my just talking should be titled just crazy talk. We have children dying, vaccines, psychiatric medications. We have people losing their life, losing everything that they worked for, more and more people are suffering the consequences of this war that we are in. And this is what people spend their time on. You know why this came about? Because I was deleting World Coming Down's comments. Every comment. This person's a trainee. That person's a trainee. I think now Maybe flat earth movement is dying down and trainee movement has begun because I get people, oh, everybody's a trainee. And never did world coming down ever comment about the subject matter of the video. It was just everybody's a trainee, this one, that one. And yeah, I, I did delete his comments because they were stupid and they were so not relevant to the video and you wonder about these people because you're posting on people dying and that's what they have to say. Now other people have left comments um, about people being trainees, this one, that one, but they also leave comments that are relevant to the subject matter, um, comments that contain good information, those don't get deleted. But I admitted to World Coming Down that I was deleting his comments. I, I'm, I, I, you know, the comment section is uh, important. Um, you think of all the people who think of us as conspiracy theorists, and then they go to these videos and they read the comments, and then they think, this, this is what you're attracting? Well, I don't want to be associated with it. So, um, but others, wow. She will make you depressed and hopeless. I've admitted I'm hopeless. I've admitted I'm depressed. How can you not be considering what we are living today? But how can you be hopeful when actually there's more of these people, like world coming down, than there are of those who well, actually use their mind 
as the gift it is. <laughs> um, they think clearly. They've worked on themselves so they understand, you know, the connection between the individual and what is happening to us collectively. Um, now there's more of this than there are of people who are actively engaged, trying everything that they can, you know, to to educate people to um, whatever they can, you know, to to fight this war. But when you see people like this, yeah, and you see it over and over and over again. So for you who don't post videos, you don't understand how inundated you are with idiocy, stupidity, uh, hatred, uh, attacks, personal attacks, and, and all of that, well, you get to see that the awake crowd where you hope, hope, you know, that something can be done. Nothing can be done. No, everything's just going to get worse and worse because this is the majority of the awake crowd. It's the majority. Immature boys and girls who who focus on bringing people down and lie, man, the lies. One comment here, um, she brings her subs down so they can't function. How are you guys functioning? Is it me or might it be something else? Um, and I apologize if I bring you down. That is certainly not my intent. I am very, very frustrated. You know, how can you not be? This, this, you, you read the comments, you, you, you see things like this. And you know that we're not getting anywhere. Nowhere good. Um, what makes me hopeful is seeing people actively involved. What makes me inspired and gives me the good energy that I so need is hearing from people who talk about what they're doing, what they're doing, and very few do, very few, which leads me to believe that a whole lot of people may not be doing anything. What really inspires me is hearing from people who are working on themselves, you know, in my eight years on YouTube, I I remember twice two subscribers, two in all that time, actually left comments or emailed me thanking me for helping them to see that living honestly is important. And speaking honestly, I love hearing from people who are who are trying to better themselves. Unfortunately, they are only a few. What we have are a lot of messed up people, even in this crowd. Now, it doesn't matter how much knowledge you acquire. The most important truth is your own truth and working on yourself so that you can create a ripple effect that is good versus a ripple effect that is destructive, detrimental. And Here, this guy, John Doe, you know, I have thought that before and have been told not everybody is a tranny by Carol, which apparently that brought up red flags. Not everybody is a tranny brings up red flags. Wow. Um, after I told him that I was deleting his comments, he said, 
ah, okay, you're a he. And he told me that he was going to be posting evidence that I was a tranny. <laughs> oh, my God. Um, but here, here, uh, she only deletes certain types of comments, but won't delete comments trolling on her subs. I have no idea what that means. I've seen some really bad comments that she never removes. Who the hell knows what he's talking about? You know, people who attack subscribers, oh, well, I have left responses. I have blocked them. Um, so people just make up whatever the hell they want to make up because they have a, an agenda. And that agenda is to take people down. So here, she treats every person in her life like garbage. Do you know who's in my life? Who is this person? And do I really treat everybody in my life like garbage? Wow. Oh, but I play the victim. I feel sorry for her. all the subs that paid her rent and helped her financially. She's burned them all. That Pocahontas lady is the one she always talks bad about in videos. Ah, and I sent her a hundred dollars. Who the hell is this? Now people have lied about donating in the comment section, so I guess uh, they they want to appear as if they're, I don't know, generous or whatever. Um, that's why I have been so kind of uh, adamant and persistent about we have to do the work necessary to become proactive in reestablishing trust. We can't keep lying like this because the ripple effect is that you don't trust anybody anymore. And I am at that point. I've been at that point for a long time now. Having met a lot of my subscribers and seeing a whole lot of them lie about me, lie to me, betray me, use me, my ending up with far less money, um, a whole lot. Now, now look, I've lived in an, exper an experience that I don't know anybody else who has lived my experience. And I suppose I should talk about that. But having traveled around the country and uh, subscribers reaching out and my going to their homes and not too many were a good experience. So, what did that do? Everyone who lied to me or lied about me showed me that they're so still walking the low road and how they could possibly think that their lying is not contributing to this nightmare we're living. Well, because they're so dissociated, disintegrated, so messed up in their own minds that they can't see clearly, they can't communicate clearly, and they're just a mess. But they leave all of us a mess. So, the evidence, what's the evidence? The evidence, uh, apparently, that I have the space between my nose and upper left, the space is larger, large enough for two um, mustaches. <laughs> I have deep set eyes, I have a large forehead, I have a chiseled face, and I have large hands. Okay. Does anybody get that, depending on where the camera is and how you're moving about, sometimes it looks like you have large hands or, or a lip that can, that can uh, house two mustaches. If you saw me in real life, you would see someone who's very tall and very small boned. I was actually teased by friends. How is it that you keep your body upright on such small 
narrow feet, very small hands, uh, small boned, very thin, and very small fingernails. But that's his investigation. I'm a tranny. We have so many people who are just so not about Christ and so not about the truth. And unless they do the work necessary, that work, that self-reflection and, yeah, reevaluating those beliefs that they have and trying to understand how they think, trying to get control over their thoughts, um, try to raise their awareness of their own self, their thinking, their behavior. They can only be a detriment. You know, it's kind of like we, we have a whole lot of experiences that bring us to a fork in the road, and many don't even see the fork. <clears throat> and that's unfortunate. And the fork means stop and think. Stop and think about yourself and where you're going, what you're doing. And the fork is, you know, just to simplify everything. The fork is leading to two roads. One, the road of good. The second, the road of evil. And the longer you stay on either road, well, the more you uh, strengthen those moral muscles on the road of good that suddenly engaging in behaviors that you know are wrong are less likely, but you've increased that awareness where you can actually have a choice. You stay on that road of evil. And this is, this is, well, evil right here. You're bringing somebody down for no reason. Is it because I admitted that I was deleting your comments and said I'm tired of listening to everyone's a tranny, this person's a tranny, that person, without anything further, you never comment on the subject matter of a video. Um, well, instead of looking and really thinking about what I said, attack. This is what immature people do. This is what people do that are lost. They're just lost. You know, they drape themselves in those, you know, labels that that carry expectations. Yeah? You have this label on yourself. I'm a Christian. And, well, when you say that, it conjures up this uh, profile of who you are. Christ-like that you live a certain way, that you're not selfish, not self-centered, that you help people in need, that you are generous, that you are generous uh, materially as well as uh, within your spirit, that you're caring and compassionate. And you don't live a lie. You're living honestly. You speak honestly. You don't betray people with lies. Do you know how many Christians do? Do I attack Christians? No, I don't. I attack the hypocrisy. It just so happens that there's so many of you. And then you slam people for being honest about the hypocrisy within the Christian community, but, oh, you're all Christian, so therefore, you're good, and anybody who talks about the hypocrisy is bashing Christians. That kind of thinking is just moronic. It's stupid. I'm sorry. You need to work on your thinking. I don't bash Christians. I have such admiration and respect for real Christians. 
but there's very few of them. And the obvious is lost. The obvious is that you have been the largest percentage of our country. And what has manifested? Evil. How did that happen? How did that happen when you were like 98% of the country? 98% of the population. Now you're still a huge majority at like 74, 73%. How is it possible that so much evil has manifested? It's only possible if people drape themselves in a label and then behave in ways that, well, uh, using your language, behave in ways that it's obvious. It's Satan. Well, I, uh, you know, look, you want, you want hope? <laughs> you want, uh, yeah, I am depressed <laughs> and I am hopeless. And I post for those who, those subscribers, who do leave comments that either leave me inspired or hopeful. Um, and I can't not, I can't not now mention the importance of the individual working on themselves because it is key to this nightmare that we are living. It is the key that is going to manifest if you take that key and open your dark side and take a look at it and resolve some of those issues that you have, understand yourself better, raise the awareness of your own self, understand who you are, that's the key to transforming this world. Now, a lot of people deny that, and a lot of people just think, oh, you just have to accept Jesus as your savior. Really? Well, I've known a lot of Christians who have accepted Jesus as their savior. And what do they demonstrate? What are the fruits? You will know them by their fruits. What are their fruits? Bread and taking somebody down. Um, I was really glad to see this article just a couple of days ago. The path to liberating humanity is the same as the path to liberating the individual. They go hand in hand. The path to enlightenment is the process of becoming clearly aware of all the different aspects of the way you operate inside, which enables you to relate to life, to relate to life as it's actually appearing instead of through the filters of old conditioned mental habits. Now, either this guy is deliberately deceiving people by putting that label on himself, a Christian, or he has not grown, developed, matured, and clearly has no awareness of himself, unaware of this, well, I called him out, boom, tranny truther, attack. This is what most people do. They can't accept that they're maybe less than they imagine themselves to be. And when confronted, instead of examining their own self, they attack the person who called them out. It goes on all over. It's a widespread behavior. And when that is the case, 
then you see people who don't even know what the truth is. But of course, they have to project that you don't know what the truth is. Right? Oh my God. Well, I'm going to link below to this article, but I will be reading it into a video. You can get a head start. Carl Jung and the Shadow, the hidden pow power of our dark side. <clears throat> most people don't even know what the shadow is. And most people who understand that, yeah, there are things uh, buried in our unconscious. They don't get the importance of unlocking that door to understand their own shadow, how it operates, how it motivates, how it controls behaviors. Especially when triggered, confronted, called out, boom, it flies and causes an awful lot of uh, mess in personal relationships. But when you have a majority who never look to themselves to try to understand themselves, a majority who never do that work, that self-reflective examination of their own self, when you have a majority, what we then see is mess, absurdity, things becoming just so surreal, lying all over the place, betrayal, who cares, I don't care. You, as a collective, begin to just, you get on that slide into great immorality, and that's what we're living now. It's what we are living. And it's right here in this community of ours, where I suppose many people think that they're just fabulous because they're awake and they, you know, they understand what's happening to us collectively. And you got a whole lot of them. Uh, what, what? <laughs> If, if this is, you're supposed to be doing something with the knowledge that you acquire. So if this is the basis of doing something, there's a problem. There's a big problem. Uh, most people don't even understand the filters that they have. It's, uh, the process of collectively becoming clearly aware of the reality of our situation as opposed to the false narratives about it so that we can begin solving our problems as they actually are instead of the way the establishment media describes them. So what this um, Caitlin Johnstone is talking about is awakening the masses. You know, uh, there's a whole lot of quote-unquote truthers that need to be awakened as well. But they need to be awakened to their dark side, to their shadow, to all of those forces that they are not aware of that control them, operate inside them to pull people down. You know, they're ego-driven, um, don't like what you said, that not everybody is a tranny, so I'm going to attack you. And I'm just using him as an example. Examples abound. Um, all the people who leave the comments not understanding that they have made such incredible presumptions about somebody and they spit them out as fact, but they're simply a presumption but they claim it's the truth. So they've lied. 
they don't even know that they've lied, but they've lied. That's the level of awareness of a lot of people. They don't even know that they've lied. And they have contributed to breaking down trust instead of strengthening, strengthening it. Um, we really do need to lift ourselves up. Get out of that ego-driven consciousness and develop increasing awareness of our own self so that we don't contribute to the nightmare. So these two processes, the individual and the collective, you know, are recursive mirrors of each other. It is a mirror of, look at the reality, it is a mirror of the majority of the population. The bell curve controls the manifestation of reality. The well-adjusted to a deeply disturbed society, they're in the bell curve. It is deeply frustrating. And yes, of course, I'm hopeless. You know, good for you that you've got Jesus and you feel hopeful that, you know, he's coming down to, you know, restore goodness and or or lift you on up to heaven so that you can live eternal bliss. All good. But that's only a belief that you have and it's not truth. And I am very tired of Christians who uh, with such arrogance claim they hold the truth and no one else does. Yeah. You know, it's like Christians think that they can say whatever they want to say, no matter how egregious or hurtful, or do whatever they want to do. Lie, cheat, steal, but they're Christian. So they feel they have <laughs> no reason to ever look at their own self, and don't you call me out. Don't you say anything, because I'm going to claim that you hate Christians. What great thinking you've got there, and what does that manifest in the world? But if anybody has been with me for a while, you know I have a problem with lying, hypocrisy whether it's coming in Christian form or non-Christian form. But the Christians have this filter. Most of them have a filter. Oh, you say Christian. Oh. She's always bashing Christians. But they never say anything when I'm bashing somebody else, right? No, it's only Christians. This thinking is so warped, but it works for you. It lets you feel good about yourself. And that is ego-driven thinking. It's so not about Christ. You know, one is on the micro scale, the individual, and the other is the macro. Well, you got a lot of micros that are creating the macro. That's how it works. The micro in the aggregate creates the macro reality. We've got to move from an unhealthy relationship with mental narratives into a healthy one. We have to work on how we think. Very important. What we do, how we think. Because there's an awful lot of wake people who are also delusional. Now, because I'm saying all of this, a lot of people think I'm arrogant and, you know, I think that I'm morally superior. No, I don't. I don't. 
there's an awful lot that I have to continue working on, and I do every single day. No, there's nothing perfect about me. And frankly, you know, considering what I've lived, I hear myself questioning whether or not I'm even a good person, but I don't think in those terms anymore. <clears throat> I don't. You know, I. there's bad and good in everybody. There's evil and good in everybody. But for those who deny the evil, deny, you know, what is considered to be these behaviors that are not uh, positive, um, when you ignore them, when you deny them, when you can't face them, oh, they come out. They come out and reveal themselves like this. And yeah, I have done a lot of work on myself. So it's hard to face the truth about who you are. And it's necessary. It is absolutely 100% necessary to begin to clean up this mess. And the few subscribers who understand what I'm talking about, I thank God for you because you've given me that glimmer of hope that is hard to sustain considering what we see every single day here in, in just um, one social media platform. Oh well, it's very sad. It's very sad to see how many people are so immature and focusing on things that are really the dark side. Well, anyway, all links are below.